How's it going everybody? Andy McCullough from the Kansas City Star here at Comerica Park at the end of a very long night and a very um, ugly loss for the Royals. I mean, I don't know. It wasn't that ugly. They'll be all right, theoretically. Um, but um, Greg Holland blew a save in the bottom of the 12th, um, which cost the team a chance to maintain sort of their two-game lead over the Blue Jays and home field advantage. Um, so it's down to one. And uh, the Royals, I mean... Look, the Royals have had a, a closer problem, for lack of a better phrase, all season long. I mean, it's been obvious to anyone, you know, scouts, executives, anyone watching Greg Holland that, um, you know, he's had some difficulties. His, his statistics reflect that. Um, and it, uh, you know, you saw it again tonight um, where the fastball velocity is down, the command is not there. Um, and, you know, he was unable to get through um, the top of the, the Tigers' order, which is a good order, you know. But um, Greg Holland also, you know, in the past was the best reliever in the American League for the past uh, four seasons from 11 to, uh, to 14, um, you know, at least based on war and um, certainly based on, you know, watching. He was fantastic. But, you know, that pitcher um, has, uh, you know, sort of um, – he, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't want to. You, you don't want to speak to um, sort of. Uh, I don't know. I'm struggling for words. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's very late. Uh, there was an electrical delay that, that moved this game back 20 minutes. Um, there was a. There's rain. You know, it's just a, just a, a lot of stuff going on. But the the big thing that everyone will be talking about tomorrow is uh, is you know what to do with Holland. And so Ned Yost essentially. Um, you know, kind of cut off any questions about him, uh, so there wasn't really any reason or any way to ask about, you know, where we go from here. We'll find out tomorrow, but I think there's a reasonable chance to expect that when we come to the park tomorrow, you know, Wade Davis will be the Royals' closer, and, um, you know, that is what it is. I mean, I, I don't think it's necessarily something, um, you know, for fans to be excited about or to celebrate because, you know, Greg Holland is an important member of this team. Greg Holland's a guy who's going to be pitching major innings for this club in October, and it doesn't matter what inning he's pitching in. You know, the Royals still need him to be productive, and they've been um, searching for that, you know, all season long, and they've, you know, they've given him a pretty lengthy um, rope. And it's not like he's blown 15 saves and cost them a ton of games, but, you know, this is a team that is built around perfection in the bullpen. And they have, the, you know, they know that the the margin for error is going to be very, very thin in October. And every outing that Holland has, you know, feels like a tightrope. Um, you know, he's got a 3.83 ERA. Uh, he's walked, you know, his walk rates a career high, his strikeout rates a career low. Um, you know, the, it's it's all, you know, all the statistics sort of reflect the things that, you know, you see um, when you watch him. So um, that's the uh, the big issue tonight. Uh, Johnny Cueto was really good. <laughs> no one's going to be talking about Johnny. Cueto tomorrow, but Johnny Cueto was really good. Uh, this is a very long video. Thank you for watching. You can read all about what's going on with the Royals in the pages of the Kansas City Star, kansascity.com, and on our True Blue app. Have a good night.